There are perhaps as many as 3 million different species of animals on Earth. Some animals are herbivores that only eat plants. Many are carnivores that eat other animals. Many animals wind up as another animal's prey. How can they avoid being eaten? Well, the answer is camouflage or mimicry. Mimicry helps animals live longer, which makes it a desired trait. If an animal mimic can trick its enemy into thinking it is something less tasty or more dangerous, it will survive. The animal mimic may smell, sound, or behave like the creature or object it is mimicking, not simply look like it. A good example of mimicry is the deadly spider-tailed horned viper. This lizard lives in a restricted region in western Iran. When it was initially discovered in 1968, scientists believed the tail to be a chance mutation. However, it wasn't until 2006 that researchers obtained a live animal to examine and realize the distinctive tail suggested they had discovered a new species. The species engages in feeding mimicry, where it mimics a spider with its tail to lure prey. The next we don't need to look into a newly discovered animal. It was right in front of us the whole time. Have you ever take a close look to cheetah cubs? They look just like an adult honey badgers. It's because. According to a popular theory, baby cheetahs develop to mimic adult honey badgers. Because honey badgers are so violent that nearly no other animal would dare to attack them, protecting the young cheetah in the process. The amazing thing about this phenomenon is that because evolution happens at random, at some point a cheetah simply happened to be born with a gene that made it such that it looked more like a honey badger than other cheetahs, and that gene kept helping that cheetah survive. So you might say how they pass the gene well that why I'm here to make it clear for you. Okay for example we take two cheetah cub. For now we say this one have the good genes. This one don't. The one which got the good genes will stay alive and produce offsprings. The offsprings will inherit the good gene 90% of the time and they will repeat the same thing till this gene become common. And that how gene passing works. Okay for this one try to spot the hidden thing in this picture. If you pick this. You'll be wrong. It's actually this it's called a stick bug. Probably the most well known of the insect mimics is the stick bug, also often called a walking stick. The name says it all. It is a bug that evolved millions of years ago to look like a stick. There are 3000 species of stick insect found all over the world. Because of this, not all stick insects look the same, since not all trees look the same. Stick bugs will look like sticks from the trees found in their native habitat. This also means they vary greatly in size, with the largest stick bug measuring an impressive 21 inches. That was it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video.